وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا I did not write it, yeah, 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 yeah but... Right. So what did you... I have the Book of Mormon, yeah. Oh, you like the Quran better than the Book of Mormon? That's good. I mean, the, the compo... It's much better and it's more profound. Nice. It is. I'm not... I have a PhD in English, so I, I, I know quality when it comes to Nice! Right? So that, isn't that amazing though, a man who couldn't read or write, like how would he be able to bring such a book, right? As a PhD in English, I mean, you could see, right? Oh, well, he's a, he's a poet. But he's the, retired now, but he's a... I'm, I was you, you were, you I were was a, published in Tangier, London, New York. Wow, London. that's amazing. Poets, poets read, read uh, scriptures. Poets and nice. Poets, well, I say poets and philosophers know what the scientists call, they say 94% of the universe is dark matter. We poets and philosophers go into the dark matter. And uh, you're, the, the writer of your Koran went into that dark matter and understand things that All right. only scientists will ever comprehend. All right, so, so I think we would agree that the Prophet Muhammad didn't write it, though, right? Yeah. All right. No, no, it was written about, about the Prophet Muhammad. Well, I mean, he's addressed in it, but it's well, more... I'll let him ramble, too. I'm, <laughs> well, I'm, only, I, I'm not an expert. I, I think you guys are I've both well-educated. I haven't read the whole Quran. Right. Do you have but, uh, one? Did you want one? I can give you a gift as a I've free got one. one. Uh, You've got one? No, I wouldn't get around to it. It wouldn't. Uh. Yeah, I've got too many books on my stack. <laughs> Oh, That's a pretty you, important one to read. Really just, are you giving really discussion? Free? Yeah, free. Well, give me that because it's part sure. of the new translation. Excellent. So do, you, do, you, do, you, do you categorize Which yourself one? as um, a Shiite or Sunni? Uh, I'm Muslim. And I, Muslim. I, I don't really like to divide the Muslim Ummah. Uh -huh. I mean, basically, I believe in the Quran. I believe in the Prophet Wasallam. I believe in the companions being good. Uh -huh. uh, all of them were Allah was pleased with them. Uh, so do you consider that division political or geographical? I do. I mean, originally I think it was political. Uh -huh. I think some people took advantage of that and made it a creedal difference. But, I mean, the easy thing is, like, like as a Muslim, one of the core concepts is we pray none to but one creator, right? Yeah. So yeah. if somebody's like, yeah, Ali, if somebody's praying, oh, making yeah. dua, supplication yeah. to other than Allah, then what they're doing is against the Quran and Sunnah, right? So we say this is a deviance. Uh -huh. So Muslims were one body, jama'ah, right, right, when right. we say Ahlul Sunnah, yani because the Prophet ﷺ, he said to be on the Sunnah and jama'ah, to be together, united. So the majority of the Muslim, maybe 80-85% of the Muslim world is on one page there. Um, and then you have yani, sects like the Qadianis, you have the Ismailis, they kind of split away and they kind of fracture. Like in Christianity, you look at Mormonism or Jew witnesses yeah, or so on like yeah. that, right? Well, there's a big division there between Protestant and Catholic. I agree. Uh, I, I have to admit, I mean, I don't want to get into a long discussion with you, but what is an interesting conversation. One of the advantages of Islam, I think, over Christianity mm -hmm. is that uh, believers have the insight to recognize that, that that you can't ascribe divinity to a personage. Great it, point. It, it isn't a person. Ah, I think that's wonderful. And, and I mean, if you look at the designs of mosques, and mm -hmm. uh, Arabic uh, architecture and, and aesthetics. It's all about uncovering the innate design of the universe as opposed to pointing at a man, uh, you're a woman, a, or a figure. Or you're a, a very figure. intelligent man. Those are great points. I mean, that's one of the things I think, as myself, somebody who didn't grow up in the Islamic tradition, uh, grew up going to church and studying the Bible, one of the things I found very unique and wonderful about Islam is they didn't worship any of the creation. They didn't say worship Muhammad, peace be right, upon him, right, or right. Ali, may Allah be right, pleased right, with him, right, right. but rather worship the one creator. Where and I Christians think Christians tend to worship Jesus the, or exactly, his mother. Or, exactly. I mean, Catholics. That uh, supernatural powers. Exactly. So Catholics, for example, they'll pray to Mary. Yeah. Uh, most Christians, they will, they will worship Jesus. They'll consider him God. Even though, I mean, as you know, you're well read, Jesus himself didn't never worship himself. himself. He no. never himself called himself God. And exactly. he never called himself a Christian either. <laughs> you you are on it, man. You you're, you're, you're you are on the borderline yeah, yeah. of having the Muslim no, belief. No, we're just scholars. We well, that's Iran, excellent. I want Iran to go back to the name Persia. That's the most beautiful name of any mm. country ever in history. Persia, Persia is beautiful. I've, yeah. I've, I've studied and read ancient Persian yeah. poetry and. 
they knew astronomy, and that culture was beyond any you know, culture that in, in, in Islam, in Islam, we don't the care if it's called Iran or Persia. Right, right, right. In the in the original time of the Prophet, it was still called Persia. Yeah. Personally, I don't care what they call themselves. I know. Your is your belief. Exactly, right? So, as Muslims, that. we don't agree with a lot of things that go on in, in the government of Iran, a lot of the corruption and things that go on, we condemn that. We want to talk about creed, like for example, you believe in one God, right? Uh, that's that's a trick question. For All right, me. difficult to answer. All right, well let's I, walk I, through I, it. I, I believe in the contra what is the apparent contradiction between multiplicity and oneness. Okay, how does those that work? Two, those two ideas have to be sustained. All right, because we're one. It's, we have one life. Okay, that's we're true. In one universe. That is but true. But you see the variety that this universe takes on. True. Right? So somehow reality is both many things and the same thing at the okay. same time. So let's They're take it let's take a step back. So we right. as the creation, right. we have many different types of creation. We have humans, we have animals, we have plants, mm -hmm. but they all go down to cells, right? Living cells, right? Well, we haven't gone down far enough or up right. far enough. You True, know? but from I mean, what we one, see. One, one, one thing where, uh, you know, say uh, uh, non-believing scholars like myself agree with you sure. is that we don't know Okay. The extent that the knowledge of the universe is, is limited. very limited. Right. That's true. So, so, so every option is possible because okay. we don't know. I agree with you. So that you, we don't know, right? So, but so, so I'm not going to berate you for entertaining yeah. ideas which I may not believe myself. Sure. But I don't know for right, sure right, right. if you're wrong. Right. Oh, so I got I don't you. Know for sure. But let me ask wrong. you a question, right? Sure. Okay. For example, the Prophet Muhammad, peace mm -hmm. and blessings be upon him, mm -hmm. or the Prophet Jesus, or Abraham, or Moses, mm -hmm. do you see a similar message all of them brought? I see a similarity in the message when, okay. Good. when it's pure, properly. Followed. Agreed. I agree with you. I don't People see a corrupt between it. The Buddha. I don't see a difference between. Well, for the Buddha is a good a good. Um, example because uh, the Buddhists talk about Siddhartha as being an incarnation of the Buddha but at the same time the Buddhists will tell you that the Buddha nature is not one individual but mm. it is within us all in the sure. same way you know Christians say well Jesus is within us all uh, right. a, Muslim, a Muslim would say that Allah is, is you know well, is, is we, the unity. We, we don't say Allah is in us we say Allah is the creator of us right, of us, right. so for example Buddha he had his own ideas of enlightenment and how to live a good life, but he didn't, I mean, in his own writings, he never really, or what has been he ascribed, exactly, yeah. but yeah. what has been ascribed to him, yeah. he didn't really discuss the beginning of the universe or what's the purpose of life as far as a divine purpose, right? In, in a way he does, because mm -hmm. he doesn't talk about it in a cosmological sense. I the quality of you to, because uh, I've dealt with my PhD, I've dealt with thousands of students. You have the look in your eye and the way you carry your body. You are both wise and gentle and the way an adult male should be. Thank you. Well, I can yeah. tell both of you are well educated and very respectful. That. You're willing to you talk to non-believers like us. That's you. A, Yusuf, yeah. come, come, man, come, come. Let's, let's, this, is, this, is my, this is my son. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Yusuf, yeah. Very good, very good. Yeah. 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 Igor. Yeah. Igor? I, I can tell nasty, dark people uh, just uh, like that. You can too, the tone and the voice. Yeah. Right? We have, in Islam, in Islam, we have a, a concept of farasa. Yeah. With the Creator. Alhamdulillah. But let me tell you my story. All right. I have been a lifelong atheist. Mm. I was raised by a scientist. I believe in the materials and the rational world all my life. Sure. Until towards the end of my life, I began to have what I would call a crisis of doubt. Mm. And I've come to the conclusion. That again, I mean, it sounds agnostic, but I come to the conclusion that it, although my entire life I have challenged those who claim that there is a God okay. or an Allah, right. I understand now that it is as mistaken to claim that there isn't okay. as it is to claim that there is. Interesting point of view. Because I, that point of view. I think you're that, making progress. That's great. <laughs> well, the, the, the point is, if you talk about the divine in mm. any conception from a creation point of right. view. And, and obviously, the physicists tell us now that the universe is constantly in the state of creation. Right. From the Big Bang, etc. Things are constantly... Expanding and right, developing, right. yeah. So if you, look at, if, if you look at a divine being as, as a creator, mm. then that being must be in action 
Agree? Today. Agree? In what we're doing right now. We believe as Muslims that Allah created everything and He's actively a creator. He's the Khaliq. Right, he right. is the one that continues to create and there are creations that we don't know about. Okay. In the Surah Al Fatiha, Allah in the beginning chapter, it says, Rabbul Alameen, the Lord of all of the worlds and universes and existence, meaning that it's not just Alam, it's not just what we see here. Yeah. There's a lot more to it. And this is something, if you look at the early debates between Christians and Muslims, you will find that Christians had this idea that it's just the earth and that's all we are about. And Muslims would say, no, there are other creations that are above us in the skies above, meaning the heavens above, that we don't even know about. The that's why... Becomes, you're the problem becomes <coughs> when an institution no. uh, decides that it has determined what those other dimensions are I, and that that you have to subscribe to that but, but architecture I think, but again, wrong. Again, I think that's a very Christian mindset, right? Yeah. In Islam, we don't have a Pope, right? We don't have one that's guy true. who that's we true. believe that is still in contact with God, right, that's right, going right, to tell right. us what to think and right, whether right. this is okay and this is not. In Islam, we go back to the Quran, uh, we go back to the authentic, verified narrations from the Prophet no, alayhi salatu but salam, I, I, I uh, right? So, so here, and I want to continue with my day. Take it. Have a, have a good day. You too. You Enjoy. Take care. Thank you. Enjoy. Is that the Washington like. baseball team? Claude Manet. Great artist. They're the best. They're the best. They're the best. So, so can you imagine anything that isn't manifest, anything that you consider divine or holy? Mm -hmm. Can you can you consider anything divine or holy that isn't enacted and manifested by human beings? No, no. So we believe that the divine, the Creator, Allah, is nothing like the humans. It's nothing that we could compare even in the human world to Him. Right, in the right. Quran it says Laysa kamithlihi shay There is nothing that can even be given a resemblance or comparison to him, to the creator. Right, right? Right, right. So we believe Allah has creation that we've never seen. We believe Allah has names that we don't even know about. Like we have many names we know Allah through, like the most merciful, the most forgiving, the most loving, Ar-Rahman, Al-Wudud, Al-Mutakabbir, Al-Jabir, Al-Qadir, yani so many names, right? How do you do, I'm sorry to interrupt. Go ahead, go ahead. How do you deal with the burden of proof? If someone Excellent. says to you, no problem. How can you know this to be true if Easy. you cannot prove it to me? Easy, I can prove it. Okay. So when we talk about. He uh, has that feeling that is beyond any words or arguments. Well, you you see, I do. Angelic. Agree. And you radiate that, goddammit. <laughs> you radiate that. And I Thank you. Know. This is the future. It's my son, the future generation of da'wah. Alhamdulillah. Sure, yeah, it's well, please, please uh, join in. You know, say whatever. We're just you talking. are like angels I'm, I'm talking. Like right, well. yeah. You know, that's it's so beautiful you would say that. This you know? guy is basically a good guy, but still. A very good guy. He's stumbling well, I, into My actions are good. Look, look, look. Look. You went from being yeah. an atheist to recognizing that that you cannot say there's no God so that's great progress that well, that shows open-mindedness so Socrates is my uh, champion I, uh -huh. I believe uh, you know well, the, the Prophet Muhammad know, is my champion yeah, peace the, and blessings yeah, the, more, the more that you know uh, and you know and and by the way Socrates has a lot in common with both Jesus and Muhammad and that there is no archaeological proof there is no verifiable proof that he existed. Well, for the he Prophet Muhammad, for the Prophet Muhammad, there is. Oh, right? there is. Of oh. course, there are letters that were written from his be on his behalf that are still in museums today. But are we there? Have, any, but is there any writing by Muhammad? So the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, didn't read or write. He right, was illiterate. Right. But uh -huh. there are writings that were inscribed from his statements, meaning from right, the Quran right. that was revealed, right, right. that are verified and carbon dated to his lifetime. You can, okay. because you're a researcher, look up the Birmingham Quran. It is in the United Kingdom uh -huh. by non-Muslims. It was carbon dated. By the British Library? By the British Library, oh, yes. Oh, really? Uh, right. I think it's currently uh, in Birmingham, not in London, in, uh -huh. the, in the main library. Uh -huh. But it is in the United Kingdom. Right, it's right, It's called right. the Birmingham Quran. You can Google it. And, and it, what is it? Is it a, is it it's manuscripts, it, writings. It's manuscript, uh, yes. Writing. Of the Quran. So today, when yeah. I recite Taha, Ma'anzala, so... Sorry. So it's written yeah. in, an, yeah. in, an, in an old Arabic. Right? Yes, of yeah. course, but in the same Arabic that we recite the Quran in today. Huh? Right, right. Okay. So uh, the Surah Taha, as I recite it today, you can mm -hmm. find it written down with no mm -hmm. dots, no mm -hmm. harakat in the original script. And the carbon dating, of course, it gives you a range. It takes towards the end of the life of the Prophet, if you take the middle, to the end of the life of the Prophet, to the beginning of the Khilafah Abu Bakr. So this is carbon dated proof. Not just that. 
We have hadith literature, those that heard the Prophet, peace be upon him. Right. We have letters that were authored on behalf of the Prophet, meaning from the Prophet, that are in, for example, Bahrain. But, but how can you assure in your own mind mm -hmm. that the message that you learned and reading from this translation Excellent question. is what was intended? I love your questions, right? So I'm now if you look at... No, I love questions. it. I love honest, it. Okay. They're just honest questions. <laughs> I love honesty and I love open-mindedness, right? right? Now, if you look at the Bible, for example, if you look at the, the Old Testament, we know the original scriptures that may have been around the time of Moses, we definitely don't have, right? Yeah, it, it, it was rewritten. Trans it's been translated it was, numerous it was times. The fall of Babylon, the loss of scripture, yeah, 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 the yeah. rewriting, Greek, even... For, for into e Greek. Jesus um, is a Greek word. Right, Jesus so, is a Greek name. So we're talking it's about not, the yeah, yeah. Old Testament, so that's going to yeah. be Hebrew Andrew writings, yeah, right? Yeah. Andrew Tate is free. Older. He's out. House arrest, but almost. <laughs> right? So now you have the even the Dead Sea Scrolls are only 200 some odd BC, so it means that they're nowhere close to the time you're of David or Moses, guy. right? From the Midwest then you have the New Midwest. Testament, as you're mentioning. They were written down in Kone Greek. Yeah. Not in the Aramaic language That's of Jesus. Right. The earliest manuscript, Codex Sinaiticus, even is going to be around fourth century. So you have all this right. three hundred plus oh. years a of gap. Interpretation exactly. Yes. And the, the I have Greek manuscripts, yeah. and I have a Greek Bible, and it shows the difference in the manuscripts. As yeah. Dr. Bart Ehrman and others, you know, mm -hmm. who is who is an agnostic or atheist agnostic, but he's an expert on the Bible. He said right. there are more differences than there are words in the New Testament, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So now if you look at the Catholic Bible, you look at the Protestant Bible, you see different chapters, you look at the Book of Mormon, you look at the Jehovah's Witness translation, the New World translation, yeah. and has verses taken out. Gains, I'm all, with you on all of that. The right. difference. The, yes, now let's the get to the difference. The difference, the yes. meat of it. Uh, yes. The Quran is memorized letter by letter, right. word by word, right. from the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, till our time. Right, right. So we know none of it is lost. Verbatim. Nothing Verbatim. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do a social experiment for you guys. Okay. All right, All right. Let's do this. This is my son. Yes. Right. You are. You have not been prepped. Right. Okay. Come over here on this side of the camera. Right. I'm gonna let you pick one of these gentlemen, whichever one you want. I wanna stop praying. Randomly. This is a communications exercise. It, it, it is interesting, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go so. Ahead. Go ahead. We're, we're, okay. You, this is our brother Abdullah. Hello. Right. Hello. So, Abdullah, I have not prepared you for this, right? No. Okay. Now, I'm going to pick a chapter from the Quran at random. Okay. okay? Uh, let's take Surah Falaq, right? It is the second last ch chapter in the Quran. I want you to recite it from memory. Okay. ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد. ما شاء الله. From memory, right? Very Now, good. brother Abdullah, if you can recite Surah Falak from memory. Falak. Yep. الحمد لله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق من شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد. You see, now this is what we as Muslims poetry. Poetry is beautiful. I mean, the eloquence of it is one thing, but the sound. but the, the sound. but the memorization is the point. Uh -huh. Right now, we have around the world maybe over a million Muslims. If you okay. take around the world, that have memorized the entire Quran word by word, letter by letter. Can I join your experiment? Sure. Cover your Go, ears. you husky. Cover your ears. Cover your ears. Okay. No, no, not you. Oh. <laughs> In one sentence, tell me what is the main point of that, of but, that, of that passage. What is the main point? In one sentence, your understanding uh, is beyond his language, and it's within you. Any point. You radiate that. Okay. okay. Because uh, you know, there's a translation. I don't have to speak Arabic. The, 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 old, okay. the old Testament really says, uh, "Thou shalt not murder." It doesn't say, "Thou shalt not kill." What does it mean? What is, it yani what is the what is the point? But you hold uh, all those words within uh, you, and they radiate so, uh, within uh, you, uh, and you respond uh, to them like directly. Okay. Like they, uh, Oneness. One he doesn't understand uh, your direct one, one connection. One spree, okay. one that. So the meaning high. so the meaning is identical. There you go. Because so, we don't we don't we no don't doubt. we don't speak Arabic. We don't understand Arabic. Right. So one thing is to recite something, because the sound reminds you of what what syllables to recite, which is mm -hmm. like poetry. Has a has a power of just you know this of pushing air you right. know, from your mouth into yeah. other people's ears. And the other thing is comprehension. Yes. And so. and you both obviously comprehend the same 
basic uh, meaning uh, scripture, the basic meaning. So I, I assume that you under that you're not just parrots. No, 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 no. No, there's no doubt. So, for example, for us, for example, we worship only one Creator. Uh -huh. So Jesus, peace be upon him, uh -huh. Uh -huh. He, he worshiped that Creator that we worship. Right, right. All the prophets, peace be upon them. In the beginning, right. since Adam, right, peace right. be upon him, until the final messenger, Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh -huh. they worship and they've been sent by that one creator and they worship that one creator that we worship. Right, right. So it's, it's that one supreme. I, I, no, I understand so, that. But see now, the question, so this is the sorry, interesting thing, and I think that was a wonderful experimental addition, mm -hmm. is that not only the Quran memorized, the wordings of it are learned and taught. We have what's called tafsir, meaning we have lessons where Muslim scholars will sit and explain every word, the meaning right, of it. Right, right. Now, this brother, he speaks the original Arabic language, uh -huh. right? My son also speaks it, even though he's not Arab, but we taught him at home. Oh, right, right, right. right. I'm not Arab ethnically, but I learned the Arabic language, what the are, classic. What are, you, what are you ethically? I'm Pashtun. I'm Pashtun. from the, yeah, yeah Pashtun. Where, where's Pashtun? Northern Pakistan and ah, Afghanistan. Ah, I see, yeah. okay, We're gotcha. Afghan by race. Got gotcha, you. Gotcha, Yusufzai yeah. tribal. Right, I was right. born in Pakistan, but raised right, in here. Right, 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 okay. But I learned Arabic and the classic Arabic was called Fusha, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Because I don't want to happen in Islam what happened to Christianity where the original Aramaic message wasn't even there because the earliest writings are in Koinic Greek and the, and the church took it into Latin and then into English. Like you said, Jesus mm -hmm. is not an Aramaic name. No. Jesus, peace be upon him, Isa ibn Maryam, if you went to him and said Jesus, he wouldn't know who you're talking about. Well, there's an evolution and adaption of the message of what early Christianity is supposed to signify. Exactly. Compared to how it's interpreted today. But that's the beautiful thing about Islam. Uh -huh. The name Muhammad was his name, alayhi salatu so, salam, so right? consistency. Consistency. You're claiming the authority of consistency. Preservation of the like text. Like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Bernie Sanders, no, Bernie, but... The thing yeah. about Bernie Sanders, you can listen to it as a politician, is, but you can listen to what he says today. If you go back on YouTube and you go back 40 years, sure. you can find tapes of him saying exactly the same thing. That's so he interesting. Has an authority of consistency. Yeah. That's all I'm so saying. exactly. So yeah, preservation yeah. of the message, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Now, the question gets to be, that's so that's to understand why Islam, the message was preserved through that social experimentation you have seen. Mm -hmm. But also, when you look at how can we prove that there is a creator, right? That's well, a good a question, right? A Christian would say by, by fact of creation. You look at creation and it is the evidence of a creator. Okay. And a scientist, a skeptic like me goes, yeah. well, Can we listen really. to him since he's not a Christian? I mean, yeah, I'm yeah, teasing yeah, him yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> but, Let's but get a real Christian here A skeptic here would say, say <laughs> what a Christian. you have to, uh -huh. that creation is a sign that there is a creator. Well, no, that, it, that creation came before the notion of creation. Hmm. No, the, sorry. The, the creator creation, came before. No, the creation came before the notion of a creator. Okay. Why do we have to have a designer? Good Why question. Why do we think that everything is designed when it may just be the way it is? Good question. Out of out of Great. fact, out of just that's the fact of it. You know what I like about you? You're honest and you're open-minded, right? Well, I'm learning so, something. Okay. From you. So excellent. You know, so let me the, let me ask you a question. Sure. This is the phone I have, right? Uh -huh. uh, because of the fact, no, no, I wish 15. No, 15 is not even out yet. I think this is a 13, right? I think it's a 13. Oh, you can cook? Yeah, excellent. We should. We're fasting, so maybe we can. All right. When it gets to iftar time, it will come in over. All right. Yeah. Well. All right. So this is an iPhone, right? No, it has functionality. When I look at it, unlocks, right? It's got a camera. It takes pictures. It's been designed. It's been designed, but how do you know? Because human beings have designed it. Excellent. How do you know that? Find, because I can find the plans. Okay. And I can, I can, I can learn the history Excellent. of the individuals that actually added to the creation of that device. What if I told you this is all fake? Somebody made it up. That this, that, what if I told you... You need to prove that. All right, so, so let, me, let me take that down, right? All right? What if I told you that this phone right. evolved by itself? Over billions of years, grains of sand... I know you're, you're already getting spe no, skeptic that's a trick here. Question. No, that's it's not. A trick it's not. It's not. Let, let me let me yeah, let me yeah. finish my question. You'll see it's okay, not a trick question. Right, okay. Right. If I told you this phone evolved by itself over billions of years, mm -hmm. grains of sand came together and they evolved into the iPhone one, and then it evolved this by itself. I didn't buy a new phone into right, a two, right, right, into right. a three, into a four, into until the thirteen. Right. 
you you already from the look on your face you would you would BS you would call BS on that right no 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 no, no, no. I'm saying it's a trick question okay well because hold on unless you include humanity in that evolution right, right. see I said human beings decide to de determine that okay now if you want to say that evolution uh -huh. which is of, of these impartial in, in say indifferent particles okay came together and made that right. I would say yes if you include human beings a designer yes okay good I'm right. with you now we're, we're together yeah, yeah, we're yeah, together yeah. now okay yeah, I got yeah, you okay yeah, yeah. so even though me and you have never actually seen an iPhone being made we've never been at the factory no. so meaning all those people that talk about Steve Jobs could all be BSing us those could all be you know unlikely but possible uh, uh, impossible right yeah, but possible. so now but me and you as logical human beings we would look at this and say you know the design and functionality of this phone had to have had somebody that designed it, I would not believe that without human intervention, over billions of years, grains of sand by themselves evolved into this phone. Agreed? Without, without, without human intervention. I'll tell you what the without intent. Agreed. This is the, this is the crucial vocabulary di difference between us. Gotcha. The crucial concept between a non-believer such as myself mm -hmm. and a believer such as yourself okay. is is the issue of intentionality. Okay, agree. See, because a believer believes that the universe shares an intention that uh, is benevolent to human beings. So I believe, I think we're getting kind of ahead of ourselves. Right? Let's right. take it back, okay? But, but so, I don't believe the universe has an intentionality. I got you. Well, yeah. no problem Human beings with that. have intentions. Let's, let's take it back okay. to our example, right? Okay. So me and you agreed that without a designer, without a manufacturer, yes. this would not evolve by itself. There had to be intentionality behind it. Thank you. Yes. I love your honesty, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now, when we go to the human being, right? The human being is more complex than that phone. Your eyes, your brain, your, your rec facial recognition, your Siri that's inside your brain is no doubt more complicated. Absolutely. Agreed, right? Now, so, just using the exact same logic that we used earlier, that there had to be, if there had to be a designer, I'm not saying a human being necessarily, right? right? right. But there would have to be a designer. There would have to be somebody who designed and manufactured something as amazing as a human being. If it's true for the phone, it's more true for you. Now I'm gonna risk insulting you. Because, no problem, insult away. Because um, I would say what you've drawn there is a false equivalence. Why not, why? And the reason is that I, or human beings, mm -hmm. existed long okay. before iPhones. True. So we can derive one from the other because it pre because humans predate. Excellent. Whereas we don't know what really predates human beings. But I do. You do? Yes. Well, you believe no. you do. I'll tell you why. Okay. okay. Tell, me, tell me why. Now, in the end, the fact that humans predated iPhones is also, uh, in the end, a belief because somebody told you that. You weren't, me and you were not there when the cavemen were around. We were not. Uh, I've seen evidence. Okay, but that evidence. I've, seen, I've okay. seen convincing evidence. Convincing evidence. Yes. Excellent point. Fossils. I have seen market. convincing evidence, and uh -huh. I will show it to you, uh -huh. that there was a creator before uh -huh. the creation, and he's always been there and always will be there. Right? I got you. Relax. I'm, I'm the guy how, how, that you were waiting for well, this whole life. All right. Well, tell, tell me. No, all right. I, I, I got you. Tell me. What is, what is the I got it. I got it. I got it. An, 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 uh, let's call it uh, an original... Uh, intention or an original Excellent. causation. I got you, no now, problem. Let's call it that. Let's take it there. Now, a man named Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, he had a revelation and he brought, and this is my belief and I'll sure. explain, right? Okay. And he brought a book forth, the Quran that you have, which tells us all this information, right? Okay. Now, for example, uh, a scientist that brings his research and brings his facts, even though I may not be able to physically go and verify that. Like you said, I find it convincing because of the honesty or because of trust that I put in those scientists or those, like for example, if tomorrow the National Institute of Health says that you know cancer is caused by this issue because of this, we put that trust, right? So the, but the trust is earned. Earned, agreed. It's I, I, because 100 there are millions, millions of you. scientists who test the same premise. Per, well, scientists and, and do disagree on issues, but but are, but, but, do, but but what we call science is generally trust. agreed to. Because well, many I mean, people I mean, have I mean, so, so for result. example, the theory of, of gravity, right? There are scientists that disagree with it, right? I mean, the theory of evolution. There's differences between evolutionists on how it happened, but I will agree with you that trust is earned. Okay. Right. Now. I would like to ask you then, a man who could not read or write, right? He was illiterate, right? 
how could he bring forth a book that talks about the development of the child in the womb of the mother? How could it talk about things that he had never been to where there's salt water? So how could he talk about the separation between sweet and salt water? The answer. Go ahead. I love here. The, the answer is, in a sense, a, um, uh, a seed to what we have in common. Okay. And the way a, a man, uh, you know, a, a, a divine individual such as Muhammad could have conceived of things for which he had no evidence is through his imagination and his inspiration. Excellent. Excellent question. Okay. And that, now, that's my answer to you. Good. Do you write or read Pashto? My language. Do I, no, uh, I do Pashto, okay? No, I do not. If you came with a book in Pashto that as somebody who is Pashtun, I go to my top Pashtun linguists mm -hmm. and they tell me we cannot compare, write anything like it. And you're an illiterate person. Right? I have a very right? good imagination. Your imagination, imagination your imagination, yeah. your ima I mean, realistically, uh -huh. imagination cannot bring you that eloquence in let, writing. Let me, let me right? give you Hold on, well, but okay. that's only one, right? Go We're on, getting there, right? So, yeah. so I want to put these forth and then I, I'd love your feedback. I, I, I'm really enjoying this conversation good, good. because you're civil and you know, many people just get upset. I love the fact no, that we can no, have no, a conversation, no, no, no. right? I'm open to learning. I'm Excellent. a student of life. Wonderful. Inshallah, you're a Muslim soon. <laughs> so now, uh, come on, let's okay, give it, yeah, let's yeah, give it that one. All right. So now, when, if that by itself was there, meaning when the Arab, they heard the Quran, those poets, now the Prophet Muhammad, you can look it up. Karen Armstrong, a non-Muslim uh, historian, wrote about his life. You can look, if you want, I can give you the book for free. All of them said he couldn't read or write. He never wrote poetry. He was not a poet. Right, unlike right. your friend, he was not a poet. So when the Quran, when you recited it, and he told, and the Quran challenged the Arab poets that bring something like it, mm -hmm. those Arab poets said, we cannot. They said, this book could not have been written by this man. Now, as a skeptic, and again, I, was not, I wasn't raised Muslim, so I went through all these struggles myself. Mm -hmm. You could say somebody else wrote it, right? Or many people wrote it. Or many people wrote it. Mm -hmm. But then, why would they not take credit for it? If I write something that's really amazing, that would put me on a pedestal, mm -hmm. why would I be like, nah, he wrote it? <laughs> because, right? because you're not an egotist, you're a believer. Okay, excellent. So if you're a believer, uh -huh. would you put somebody as a lie forward? No, not intentionally. Then, then no. Exactly. So no, then no. that cannot be. Now, let's take it to the second step. Okay. There are scientific facts that if they were guesswork, if it was imagination, then some would be right and some would be uh, wrong. That's where, that's where I have to disagree with you. See, let's go for imagination it. is not the same as guesswork. Okay. And I'll give you the example. Excellent. Okay, Albert Einstein. Sure. Who came up with the general theory of relativity. Sure, E equals okay. MC squared. Through, through mathematics. Excellent. Through the abstraction. They say that music and mathematics is the most abstract that the human mind can get. Interesting. They had none of the technology to test whether Excellent. his theories well, e were, but now they do. Well, even today so we're kind of arguing you, about the speed of light and what happened because we haven't well, been able to actually go at the we speed We look of, at it differently. Yeah. For example, we no longer view, scientists no longer view gravity as a force. Excellent. They look yeah. at it as a feature of space-time. The uh, more I'm mass with you. something has, the more sure. of a curve it gives to space and time. So Einstein, did he study math? Yes. Okay. But the, he didn't test any of his theories. I got you, I got you. But he studied math. Yes. So he had a base that he studied yes. and he brought forth his own ideas. Yes. Some of them were wrong. Some of his early theories were, oh yeah, I mean, I've read so, his life. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's many of his early theories. Were he himself, discarded. Some they were discarded. He himself discarded them. Yeah, right? yeah, that's right. So this was, in, in an essence, guesswork in the sense, not, not blind guesswork. Not blind. I agree with you. Now the Prophet Muhammad never studied science. You see the difference, right? No, and I'm for the him, similarity. I'm okay. saying, I'm saying that. So the, you get somebody who couldn't Prophet even Muhammad read or write, and Albert Einstein mm -hmm. share the fact that they are motivated by their inspiration and their imagination, right? As opposed to being able to prove something in the hand. But there's a difference, moment, right? right? Einstein yeah. studied math. Yes. And based on the works of earlier mathematicians, mm -hmm. he developed his theories. Many of them he realized were wrong, and he changed them. Correct? Yes. The yes. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, never studied science. He never studied literature. In fact, he, he couldn't, he was... Yeah, no, no. I, You're I, there, I you. right? But, but he did study now, something Now, hold else. on. One, one thing. Though. He did study something else. His own life. That is true. And his existence. But his life could not tell him that sweet water and salt water touch and don't mix because he had never been there. Read his, read his biography. Right. Well, I'd so, have to. I excellent. It. I you know, I, I'm, there's, uh, I mean, if you want to read the 
uh, there's many good books on his biography. If okay. you like, I can send you one or I can give you some names, no, no that's problem. No, okay. You've given me a lot today. Excellent, I, I, excellent. I, I wanted to give you something before I go. I'm Please. Gonna have to, I have to take care of I have friend. one more thing for you too, but go ahead. No, you first. All right. So well, there is a, a historic event that happened where the moon split. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds an extraordinary event. I have a video where I scan all the documents. I'll give you a link to it. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Mm -hmm. And these... These many, and I'm, because of time, I'm not going deep into it, but the Quran, the scientific miracle, historic miracle, prophecies, linguistic miracles, physical miracles, these are evidences that this man wasn't making something up on his own. And that means that what was brought the Quran has a message that I can say is a divine message. So when the Quran then tells us... Then you believe it was transmitted to him? Yes, it was revealed okay. to him, not okay. written by him, not imagined by him. But revealed it was revealed. To him. Okay. No, you, no, you're no, getting I, it. I, I love this. No, no, this is no, wonderful. It's, no, it's interesting. It's interesting. Excellent. Go ahead. Your because turn. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm interested in cosmology and, uh, you know, I'm Excellent. interested in the nature of being and how we, wonderful. why is this as opposed to something else? And the Quran has mean? your answers. I have many, many religious books to do. I would, I, I would disagree. Mm -hmm. And why I would disagree mm -hmm. is those religious books that have been altered by man, that have been written by the ideas of people that weren't even there, like, like the New Testament. Mm -hmm. I mean, those scribes that wrote the original scribes, as you know better than me, they weren't even present in the time of Jesus. So I cannot rely on that. I mean, if you look at the Old Testament as well, because mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. loss of the original scripture, right? Mm -hmm. But the Quran is different. It is preserved in its original language, in its original tense, letter by letter, word by word. So there is a distinction, right? If we look at, there's a, there's a book you got to get. It's called The Bible, the Quran and Science by Dr. Muris Brukai, who is a French doctor, okay. right? And he, he goes through the Bible and known scientific facts and he shows why they're in, inaccurate. Those, what's in the Bible is not in harmony with known established peer-reviewed scientific facts but he goes when he goes to the quran he ends up becoming a muslim spoiler alert sorry but no, 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 it, it'll no, be an no, interesting no, book no, no, anyway no, 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 because no, he was also an atheist to begin yeah, with no no I, I agree i mean i you know i may be an atheist or i may be a non-believer agnostic but uh well uncertain you're making us uh, you're making progress but but i think um but i do believe in the mystical and the magical and i'm going to prove magic to you Good. I, I believe there's magic too. I believe there's in the magic Quran. too. And I'll tell you, I'll demonstrate magic. All right. And that is, who taught you how to read? Good question. Who taught you how to read and well, write? I mean, uh, I would say that Allah is Allah al Quran. I mean, who, he's the one that taught. Don't as, no, no, most immediately. Most immediately. Maybe my parents. Okay, my, who taught them how to read and write? Their parents? School? And who taught them how to read and write? Uh, we're going to take it back to you go all the way back. So yeah. This is the magic, see? Because the words that we're using don't belong just to us. Good They're point. They're all transmitted and received. That is true. So there is an ocean, a mystical ocean of language. Okay. Which connects all people yeah, that's, through meaning. That's beautiful, yeah. And that, 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 you know, that a scientist will prove to you that that mystical reality exists because I can't track my ancestors all the way back to the first person who turned a grunt into a meaningful sound. But I sure. know that my ability to make sounds now and use language now has a direct connection to that origin. And what's interesting is as humans we can learn other languages. That's right. Right. And learn meaning between languages. Right. And, and this is something that we find Adam, Adam being given in the Quran as a special characteristic that he can learn the names of things. Right. Well, I know you're not a poet, but do you know the... Uh, do you know the Sikh poet uh, Rumi? Uh, he's Muslim. Is he Muslim? Yeah, yeah. yeah Rumi. Uh, I'm a great admirer. Yeah, Rumi. yeah. Jalaluddin Rumi was uh, a, a mystic. Uh, yes. Kind of misguided. And, uh, but, uh, and, and, spe and speaks very directly to me because um, um, I have a homage. I've written a homage to, uh, to Rumi that I'll recite to you. Okay. But to me, Rumi was another demonstration of the mystical. Okay. Because Rumi, you know who he was historically. Yeah, 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 I've read a lot about him. What you may not know is he is the best-selling poet in print in America wow, today. Wow, I did not know that. He beat Edgar Allan Poe yes. and everybody? <laughs> he sells more books of poetry by Rumi hmm. are bought and sold in America than any American poet. Amazing, and I did not know is, that. How is that possible? Yeah. This man lived 700 years ago right? in his moment in time. Hmm. And yet he is speaking to people in their moments in time 700 years later. Interesting. And, and that's because of 
because that's what language can do. Because mm. poetry is not a story. Mm. It's not a beginning, a middle, and an end. Right. But not it like speaks Hamlet. to the truth of the moment of your experience. Interesting. And when Rumi was able to see within himself the truth of his experience mm. and speak from that truth, then that truth resonates regardless of what time it is. That's beautiful. Now let me give you one, one other one. Okay. Right? A book that was written more than 700 years or revealed before Rumi, the Quran, uh -huh. 14 and a half century, which is read more than Rumi's yeah, writings. He was inspired by the Quran. Right? That's true. That's true. But I'll, so I'll that's you, it. I'll leave you with a poem because we really Please. should. Please. Um, I appreciate and it. And uh, this is just my, 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 my gift to you for your, the time you've spent. Well, I appreciate uh, your, your conversation. It, so go it's, ahead. It, it's called Rumi's Mirror. Okay. The reflection of a reflection is your reflection upon the mirrored surface of a pool that is being slowly filled by the very source of the life you reflect upon. That's beautiful. All right, I'm going to give you a gift as well. That's my inspiration. Right? That's not, uh, and the uh, that I'm a believer. Oh. <laughs> I know you say you didn't have time, but now you're going to make time. All because right, you're, all right, I'll make time. You'll make time. All Here's right, the Quran. Okay. Here's our contact information. Great. You said you have a pen? I always have a pen except when I need it. Give me a right, card. Right. Too, oh, excellent. I'll get is you a this, card. Is this your name? People change that message. No, no. no. Uh, this, masjid? this is the masjid. This is our uh, mosque. Yeah, what, what our is prayer. your name? My name is Uthman. Um, let me. Without like any change. Like we keep it and we I don't know. I always have a pen on me. That's okay. And today I, can, I, don't. I can always So drop my you name email. my yeah. name is Uthman. Uh-huh. U-T-H M-A-N. U-T-H. Yeah. Okay, I'll put it to your attention. Yes. Ibn I B N. I B N. F A R O O Q Farouk. Okay. Um, oh, Farouk. But okay. what you what I really want you to do is, is when you go to YouTube, put Uthman Ibn Farouk, my uh -huh. name, okay. moon splitting. Okay. There's a video where I scan all the historic references. Okay. So please take a look at that. I'll take a look at it. Thank you have you for, the Quran. Thank you, thank you for the present. I really appreciate I, I don't your. I have a copy of one of my books. I'll, I'll, I'll I, I get write, it from you. I write books this is, too. This is my mosque, my masjid, okay. uh, our place of prayer, and you have our contact information. Uh, you're here in San Diego. In yes. San Diego, California. Okay. So. So Sonic please, Street. Where, 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 what uh, it's is off that? of 70th, uh, end of San Diego, close to La Mesa. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, it was a real, Thank you. real, it was a privilege, pleasure. real pleasure. Thank uh, you. Speaking well, to both of you. Too, Igor. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's good that our minds are open yes, to, this le to this level. This is of, how uh, humanity can progress by having intellectual, open minded conversations to learn the truth. And inshallah, we hope from Allah that you will watch the video, read the Quran, yes. and we'll come back and we'll do your shahada, inshallah. Okay. <laughs> Thank right, you man. so much, Igor. You Thank take you. Care. Pleasure talking.